Hi everyone, Mr. Miguel from McBee here. Today we're gonna to be filming Skate Tips 3, so keep watching them to learn a few more tips. All right, so let's talk obstacles. These are things in the way, uh, that might get in the way of you and your skateboard. Uh, some of the more common ones are like sticks and rocks in the road or cracks in the road. Uh, some other ones are like curbs and ledges. And then you also have to deal with uh, bumpy terrain sometimes. And I'll show you how to deal with all of these in this video. Sticks and stones may break my bones. So for sticks and uh, sticks, rocks and cracks, it's important to know your surroundings and pay attention. If you're riding in an area you're familiar with, you kind of know where these trouble areas are. So when you come upon a stick or a rock, um, if you have enough time, obviously it's just best to just go around it. Um, if you're kind of really close to hitting it, you can either bail off your skateboard, which I'll show you how to do. Um, bailing off your skateboard means just to hop off um, with enough confidence to just be able to run it out and not fall. And running, running, and running, running, and running, running, and running, running, and running, running. Another great skill to practice if you're going to be riding out in the real world is stepping off of your board. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can do this. Uh, usually start with your back foot, then your front foot comes off, and then you kind of just run it out until you're able to stop. I said a hip, hop, a hip, a hip, a hip, a hip, a hip, a hop, you don't. This is one of those skills you want to practice because you never know when you're going to need it. But when you do need it, you're going to be thankful. So what you start doing is you turn your hips. As you turn your hips, you're going to jump up a little bit and then land with your toes pointing forward the same direction that your skateboard is rolling. And if you're coming on to like a dangerous situation where you might run into something, it's okay to let your skateboard take the hit and you hop off and stay safe. Uh, when it comes to curbs, uh, going down curbs is kind of easy. It's a little scary at first, but as you build your confidence, it'll get easier and easier. Um, so I'll show you right now on my board how I do that. I kind of stand like I normally would, feet pointed sideways. So as I get closer to the curb, my weight shifts from the front to the back. So typically when you're riding, like I mentioned in my last video, your weight is always on your front foot. And as I get closer to the curb, it's going to shift to the back foot. And as I do that, I'm also going to roll my board a little forward and pop the nose up. Just a little bit, nothing crazy. The reason you're trying to do this is because you want your board to go level and flat. If you ride up to a curb how you normally would with your weight on the front, um, as soon as you get off of the curb, the front of your board is going to dive into the ground and that might uh, cause you to fall. So by shifting our weight to the back, it allows our board to ride level and flat off the curb and allows us to keep riding. But it ain't nothing but a bomb, just some ripples in your curb. So one other obstacle you might face are these little bumpy strips of sidewalk. Sometimes they're red, sometimes they're yellow. Um, if you don't know, these are for the visually impaired, so they can uh, sense when they're about to walk onto a road or walk onto a sidewalk. So they're very useful, but for skateboarding, they're just a little difficult to navigate, but I'll show you how to do that. Obviously, these are kind of an indicator when the sidewalk's about to end, so if you feel like you're coming onto the street, you want to take the same precautions and com come to a complete stop. Uh, look both ways before you cross the street. So when going over these, you kind of basically want to keep your momentum. You don't want to slow down because that's what's going to end up making you uh, trip up more than anything. So keep your speed. As you go over, stay light on your feet. Don't press down too hard because, again, that added pressure is what's going to catch your wheels. So keep your speed. Stay light on your feet. You should be able to glide right past them. It's tricky, tricky, tricky. So the last thing I wanted to cover is a quick little trick you guys could practice once you master the rest of these. So the easiest way to start with this is start with the board uh, upside down and you put your front foot underneath the board, kind of right by the front trucks where you would normally put it if it was right side up. What you do is just lift your foot straight up and that's going to make the board pop up and flip. So you want to put your foot underneath the board, uh, just kind of basically covering your toes um, right about to where your shoelaces are. So you're going to lift your foot straight up and that's going to cause the board to start to rotate. Um, and you want it to just do a little half rotation so it lands straight on the wheels. So once you get confident with flipping your board, you can go ahead and uh, flip it. And then this time, step on with your front foot and then step on with your back. And once you get comfortable doing that a few times, you can go ahead and do it a little bit quicker so it looks a little bit more seamless and you kind of just jump on your board. Now if you master that, you can go ahead and try to do it with your board right side up. Uh, it takes a little bit more force to flip it all the way around. But once you get used to it, you can start doing the same thing where you flip it with your front foot. It does a full rotation and then you step onto it and roll away. As you get more confident doing this trick standstill, you can start to incorporate a little bit of speed and roll into it. Um, and this is just a really simple trick that kind of helps you build your confidence with flipping your board. 
All right, so that's everything I have for this video. I hope you guys found it useful. I hope you are able to get out there and skate, and maybe one day we'll be able to skate together. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.